the conventional signs are one of the most important component of the map making so these are also called the symbols so these symbols are actually used for the representation of the relief features but uh, for also the human features conventional signs on the map the conventional signs has made it possible to compress maximum of information in the minimum of space without losing their importance now here we have the symbols which are related to the weather so in one of the most important element of the weather wind we have already discussed that there are four major elements of weather one of the most important element of weather is the wind so here you are seeing the velocity of the wind every sign symbol and letter which has been adopted for representation of topographical forms conveys a definite meaning so map becomes a kind of code which cannot be fully interpreted without a complete knowledge of the conventional signs the weather denotes the condition of weather elements at a particular place and time generally six weather elements are recognized number 1 temperature number 2 pressure number 3 winds number 4 humidity clouds and precipitation with the help of the symbol all these weather elements are shown on the weather map so like this symbol is used for the air which is in calm condition but this symbol we can use on the weather map when the wind speed is 15 knot so again these symbols are also for the weather elements or weather situation of a city or a country like when you see this type of symbol on the weather map it means it shows the rain of that particular place of a particular time again this symbol is used for snow this is for hail and this shows that there is no cloud or cloud clear day and this show that half of the area is covered with cloud and this shows that the cloud covered day now hamare samne lahor ka naksha hai jisme tamam jo feature hame nazar aa rahe hain wo man made feature hai yani wo uh, area jo ke under human pattern aa raha hai to so, yahan par this symbol the symbol which is actually in a yellow color it shows the location of the airport now the line which is actually in a green color it shows the motorway which actually passes through the ravi river to moving toward islamabad so these are the cultural features so on the map the cultural symbols are very important it gives the picture of the man made features now the most important thing in map making is methods now the cartographer by his unique skill and techniques may give a lively touch to his drawing which otherwise becomes less attractive there are various ways by which the earth is mapped number 1 computer maps are being precisely constructed satellite are also being used for mapping large areas of the earth quite accurately the method of mapping depends on the size of the area on the degree of accuracy aimed at and on the amount of detail required on the topographical survey maps every point on the map bears a true relationship with the corresponding points on the ground so this map shows the temperature of the sea water so it is actually made by the process of satellite technology or you can say here the satellite transmission of data the temperature which is closer to the equator 
actually is more than 27.7 or 8 degrees Celsius. So here the temperature is maximum by because the sun actually has direct radiation over the surface or direct transmission of heat from the sun or you can say the vertical rays which is coming from the sun. So when one move from equator to the north or to the south of the equator the temperature decreases. So why? Because of the tilt rays of the sun. So the areas which are closer to the poles have less temperature of sea water. So again this map is prepared with the help of GIS, Geographical Information System. So this is called the map which is actually showing the areas of the earthquake zones. The black spot shows the major earthquake locations. The most of the earthquake actually around the Pacific Ocean, this area because of the fault lines. The second dangerous area is at the center of the earth which is called the Trans-Eurasian Belt and the third most important area is the Mid-Atlantic Ridges and the Mid-Oceanic Ridges. So this map is prepared by the technique which is actually recent in map making. Next, the most important component of the method in map making are the tools. So these are the survey tools. With the help of these survey tools, we can draw the map of the area. By actual survey, the earth as a whole or part of it is mapped with the help of the instrument like chain and tape survey, plane table survey, prismatic survey, so these are the major tools of cadastral surveys. So in tape and chain survey, there are lengths of about one foot extension and all the lengths are actually divided into tallies. So after 10 feet, there is a tall tally which shows the distance or the measurement of the chain. The second most important survey in cadastral mapping is plane table survey. So here tools are used for the measuring of the streets and roads. The third is the prismatic compass survey. Here compass is used for the bearing of the areas. In this recent word, the Modern tools are used in surveying, like this is theodolite, which is used for again the, the mapping of the road, the mapping of the city streets, the mapping of the future uh, planning at community level. And uh, this actually is a total station, which is actually the most recent field survey tool. And this is automatic level. So with the help of these three survey tools, we can accurately survey the area. So with the help of accurate data, we can draw the true maps. Now, when you are planning the city or planning any area which is under uh, observation, so the, the survey tools are very important. So with the change of the technology, the survey tools are also changed.